In this video we're going to graph horizontal line equations, then graph uh, equations of vertical lines, and then write an equation for each graph here. Okay? So we'll start with graphing horizontal line equations. Let's just take the line, the equation y equals 3. Okay, how would you graph y equals 3? What do you think? Any ideas? You might have seen it before. See if you can remember. Um, well, what we've always tried to do with these things is to make it a make a table, right? So we've always, um, you know, made an x y table and tried to put points uh, to the table. So y equals three. It doesn't give us anything to calculate. It's not y equals three x plus two or y equals x minus 4 or any of those other ones we've seen before. Remember when we had something like y equals 3x plus 2, you would uh, put it in a table and x is 0, 1, 2 and you'd calculate 3 times 0 plus 2 and 3 times 1 plus 2 and so on. You remember that, right? Well, in this case, we don't have anything to calculate. We just It just says y equals 3, so it's like, well, that's the answer, isn't it? So y equals 3, just write 3 there for one thing, right? Does that make sense? y would be 3, and <coughs> if y is 3, I mean, what are our x values? Right? Any idea? Well, basically, y equals 3 means y is always 3. And you can kind of write that, uh, that fun phrase uh, beside it. y is always 3. That's, that's kind of like what it means, is all ways 3. Okay, y equals 3. y is 3. y is 3. Uh, so when x is 0, for example, y is 3. When x is 1, what do you think y is? y is 3. When x is uh, 2, what do you think y is? y is 3. See that? And when x is, you know, <coughs> 10, what's y? y is y is always 3. So that's what y equals 3 means. y is always 3. And you can just make a little table for fun like that and then plot the points. Plot these points and what do you get? Press pause and plot those points and see what you get. Have you got it? Did you plot them? So 0, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, x is 2, y is 3, 10, 3, there's another one. And if you join up those dots, what type of line do you have? Join up the dots. And we have, is that a horizontal line? Does it look like the horizon? Right? It's like the horizon. Horizontal line, right? And we'll label that y equals 3. Okay. Now, can you do this one? y equals negative 2. Press pause and do that one yourself. Again, we'd make a little table. And what is y? y is what? Always negative 2. Right? y is negative 2. So what, we, what can you put in here? Into the table? Well, you can say y is negative 2, right? So, just like when x is 0, y is going to be negative 2, because the equation just says y is negative 2. When x is 1 or 2, what is y? y is negative 2. And when x is 2, y is negative 2. When x is uh, negative 7, for example, y is going to be what? Negative 2, because the equation is simply y equals negative 2, or y is negative 2. So if we go to the um, graph and plot the points, what do you get? Plot those points and what do you get? Zero negative 2, 1 negative 2, 2 negative 2, negative 7 negative 2, there's another one. And draw a line through the points, what does it look like? <coughs> And make the line go past the point, so just stop at them. And you've got to have arrows at the end of your line. And that's the line y equals negative 2. It goes on and on forever. Th these lines are supposed to go on forever, right? 
and it's a horizontal line cutting the y-axis at negative 2. Right? Now press pause and do these two lines, y equals 0 and y equals negative 8. Press pause and do both of those and then I'll do them. Right? Okay, I hope you press pause and try them. I'm going to do them now. So in both cases you need to make a little table and plug in some points. Right? So how'd you do? For y is 0, y is always 0. So when x is 0, y is 0. When x is 1, y is 0. When x is 2, y is 0. When x is anything, like 5, y is 0. Right? 0, 0 is 1 point. x is 1, y is 0. x is 2, y is 0. x is 5, y is 0. Okay? And so what we get is this line here. Now that's a horizontal line, <coughs> and that is the line y equals 0. What is another name for this line? Any idea? It's a, it's a line that goes on and on forever through y equals 0. What is another name for that line? Well, obviously that is this line here, right? It is the line that goes like that, and it has all the x points on it, and it's called the x-axis. So y equals 0 is the x-axis, right? Isn't it? And what about y equals negative 8? Press pause and do this one if you haven't done it yet. OK, I'll do it now. So y is always negative 8. OK, so whatever x is, y is negative 8. And that line goes through negative 8 on the y-axis, horizontal line. Okay. Now, let's have a look at graphing vertical lines. So we'll start with x equals 3. Any idea how to plot that? What should we do first? How about make a table and try to plug in some points? So x equals 3. Now, this is kind of funny because we don't have y equals anything this time, right? So this is a these are these are basically special lines, vertical lines. They're, they're you call them special lines, unusual, right? They occur they don't occur very often, but sometimes. So these are you could call them special lines. Okay. But uh you can still make a table with them. If x is three, can x ever be zero? Haha. <laughs> See what I mean? This says x equals 3. So can x be 0 or 1 or 2? No, right? Because x is 3. So that's the trick. This equation says x is 3. So all you can do is plug in 3 for x. You can't plug in anything else. You know? So I guess I'll just start again over here. So the only thing we're allowed to do is plug in 3 for x. And if x is 3, what is y? Does this specify that y has to be anything? This says x is always 3, basically. OK, x equals 3, right? So if x is 3, y could be anything, like 0. Or when x is 3, y could be, you know, 1. Or when x is 3, y could be 2. Or when x is 3, y could be um, 10, or whatever, right? But as long as x is 3, then we have a point on the line. And so y can be anything. So that's the trick with this one. So if you plot these points, what does it look like? Plot these points, what do you get? So if you plot these points, you get x is 3, y is 0 x is 3, y is 1, x is 3, y is 2, x is 3, y is 10. And if you draw a line through those points, we have this. Right? Line that goes straight up and down, and that's the line x equals 3. It's a vertical line. Now, if you were on the top of it, you would have vertigo. Vertigo, right? Be scared of heights. Anyway, it's a vertical line. Now, can you plot x equals negative 5? What would that look like? First of all, you make a table, right? And what can you plug in for x? 
Now remember, x I equals negative 5 says x is negative 5, doesn't it? That's what it means. x is negative 5. So can you plug in 0 or 1 or 2 into this? If x is negative 5, can x be 0 or 1 or 2? No, and that's what that's why I'm calling this like a special line because this is the in this case we can't plug in x values uh randomly. We have to use x is negative 5 and that's all, right? If x is negative 5, what could y be? If x equals negative 5, y could be anything, right? Like 0. Or when x is negative 5, y could be 1. Or when x is negative 5, y could be 2. Or when x is negative 5, y could be negative 8 or whatever, right? And then if you plot those points, what do you get? Negative 5, 0, negative 5, 1, and so on. What does that do for you? Negative 5, 0, negative 5, 1. Negative five two, negative five, negative eight down here. And if you plot if you draw a line through those points, what do you get? X equals negative five. Okay? That's a vertical line. Straight up and down. So uh, let's do these two points, x equals zero and x equals six. See if you can plot both of these lines, right? Press pause and do both of those and see what you get. Okay, I hope you press pause and try them. X equals zero is like saying X is zero. X is zero. It can't be one or two or three. It has to be zero. X has to be zero. Y could be anything. Y could be zero or one or three or five or two or whatever, right? Or eight or whatever, right? So zero, 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 one. 0, 2, 0, 8, 0, anything, 0, anything is up and down here. Right? So this is the line x equals 0. What is another name for this line that goes straight up and down through the origin? Like that. This, this line is also called the y axis. So x equals 0 is the y axis. Okay. Now, what about x equals 6? Press pause and do that one. If you haven't done it yet, then I'll do it. Okay, I hope you press pause and tried it. I'll do it now. So x is always 6 and y could be anything. So y could be 0, y could be 10, y could be negative 5, y could be negative 2, whatever, right? So when x is 6 and y is 0, x is 6, y is 10, x is 6, y is negative 5, x, or x is 6, y is negative 2, would give you any point that goes up and down uh, where x is always 6. x is always 6. You see, any point on this line, the x value is 6. That's the whole point. If you take this point, the x value is 6. So this is the line x equals 6, right? Now, let's have a look at these. Write an equation for each graph. Uh, first of all, do this one. A, what is the equation of this line? Can you do it? Press pause if you need more time. This line, I'll help you do it now, goes through the y-axis not through the x's, go through the y-axis when y is 6. Now let's just plot some points on it. Why not do that? Why not say, okay, this point is 0, 6, right? This point is 4, 6, right? This point is negative 5, 6. Now I've plotted three points on the line. What is common about all of those points? For all of these points, your y value, your y value, see the y value in each one is 6. So for all of these, y is 6. So this is the line, y is always 6. Because at any point in this line, the y value will be 6. So this is y is always 6. Y is 6, basically, right? So 
can you do um, this line here, line B that goes up and down, okay? What is this line? Press pause and get the equation for line B. Any idea? <clears throat> I'll do it now. Hope you pressed pause and tried it. It goes through the x-axis at 4. If I put some points to this line, this point here would be 4, 0. This point here would be 4, 3. This point here would be 4, negative 6. What is common about any point on this vertical line? What do they all have in common? They all have an x value of 4. Whenever you take a point on this line, the x value is 4. So this line is x is always 4. Okay, x is 4. Okay, and that's the, the equation for the line is x equals 4. And that's, that's it there. So see if you can do line C, the one that goes across here, and line D. Press pause and do both of those and then I'll do them. Okay, I'm going to do it now. I hope you've pressed pause and tried it. If I do line C, it goes through the y-axis at negative 3. Okay, and so if I put some points to this, I have 0, negative 3. And if I take this point, that would be 6, negative 3. If I take this point, the y value would also be negative 3. If I took this point, the y value would be negative 3. So whatever point I take on the line, the y value is negative 3. So this is y is always negative 3, basically, right? y equals negative 3. How about d? Press pause and do line d. If you haven't done it yet, I'll do it then. Okay, I hope you pressed pause and tried it. I'm going to do it now. So it goes through the x-axis at negative 3. And um, if I take, you know, this point, that's the point negative 3, 2. If I take this point, that's the point negative 3, negative 5. So if I took this point, the x value is negative 3 as well. If I took this point, the x value would be negative 3. If I took this point, the x value would be negative 3. So this, for this line, x is always negative 3, it seems, right? So this is the line x equals negative 3.